Okay, we are going to start the next key area, which is key area eight, the final key area of unit two. This is concerned with blood glucose levels and obesity. So before we start, have we look at this past paper question from the 2012 course and see what you think. Okay, parts of the artery labeled Y and Z. So Y is the lumen, Z is the endothelial lining. X contains elastic fibers. Give another type of tissue found in layer X. So connective tissue and elastic fibers are found in X as well as smooth muscle. Describe the role of the elastic fibers in the wall of the artery. They allow it to um, cope with large pressure changes that occur during ventricular systole and diastole. Veins are another type of blood vessel, in case you weren't aware of this. Name a structure found in a vein and describe its function. Um, so you could cheat if you wanted and use the same answer for this question as you used for part three, because um, obviously the muscular wall of the, art, uh, the artery, you also have a muscular wall in the vein. It has a different function, um, but mainly what they're probably looking for here is valves. So valves prevent the backflow of blood. Name the blood vessels which carry blood away from the heart. Those are the arteries, uh, specifically the aorta is the blood vessel. Um, two blood vessels which carry away from the heart. So you can have the coronary arteries, which to be fair, branch off the aorta and come back to the heart, um, or you can have the aorta. Which of the following describes the state of the heart valves during ventricular systole? So, um, ventricular systole, the pressure will go up from the ventricles and it will close the AV valves. It will open the semilunar valves. So we'll look at the closed and open, which is D. Is the answer. During a competition, an athlete can increase their cardiac output by seven times. If the athlete has a resting heart rate of 60 and a resting stroke volume of 70, so um, the maximum cardiac output is, so this is a trick question, um, so six sevens are 42, so it's 4.2 litres, but they're then saying you can get seven times higher than that. So seven times 4,200 gives you 29,400. They're nice here and not giving you uh, 4,000. Oh no, they have given you 4,200 as an answer. Mean arterial blood pressure is the blood pressure in the arteries. Um, the pulse pressure is the difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure. MAP is calculated using the following formula. It's the diastolic um, plus the pulse pressure over three. So the pulse pressure being the difference between systolic and diastolic. Um, so using the formula, the MAP of an individual with a blood pressure reading of 122 over 80 is, oh good, big answer's there. So 80 plus 122 minus 80 over three. So that must be 14 times three is 32. Is 42, yeah. So it's about 42, must be about 42. Um, so 80 plus 42 over three is 94, which is C. Oh, good. More past paper questions. Um, the graph below shows changes in the volume of blood in the left ventricle of a man's heart. How long does ventricular systole last? This is actually one of the questions we've done before. So you're looking for this duration here, um, which looks to be about 0.8 seconds. Um, what is the heart? Uh, no, it's not. Sorry. Um, it's, I can't even read that on the side. Not 0.5 seconds because it's the distance between here and the peak of the pressure. Um, the oh no, so I'm wrong again. Um, the point is the if this is the left ventricle, we're looking for the distance between um here when the ventricle is at its fullest, which is 0.6, and here when it's empty, so it's 0.3 seconds. Sorry, that's our ventricular long ventricular systole last. What's the heart rate of the man in uh, beats per minute? So it looks like it takes 0.8 seconds for um, the heart to complete the cycle. So it would be 60 divided by 0.8. Um, and obviously 60 divided by 0.8 is 75. Calculate the volume of blood leaving the man's left ventricle every minute. So we are going from here, which looks to be about 130 
down to here, which looks to be 60. So we've got 70 centimeters cubed of blood um, multiplied by his heart rate, which we said was 75. So, um, yeah, uh, 75 multiplied by 60. So it'd be 4,500 mils or 4,500 centimeters cubed per minute. When this man exercises the blood volume, leaving his heart increases significantly, describe how the nervous system and hormones cause this increase. So um, that would be the autonomic nervous system would increase the number of um, sympathetic neural impulses, which would increase the um, concentration of the excitatory noradrenaline crossing the synapse, um, which would cause the sinoatrial node to fire faster because the parasympathetic system is not increasing its um, neural impulses. There's no more acetylcholine being made, so you're possibly blocked. And the duration of the stages in an individual's cardiac cycle are shown in the table below. So um, diastole, atrial systole, ventricular systole. What's the heart rate? So it looks like it takes uh, 0.8 seconds for, in total, you get from the diastole to the end of ventricular systole. We've done this calculation already. That means it's 75 beats per minute. So 60 over 0.8. Yeah, good. Finally, the diagram shows a cross section of the heart, which the following describes correctly the movement of the valves during ventricular systole. So S and R would close, P and Q would open. So S and R close, P and Q would open. So it's A. Yeah. Okay, because it took a while to go through the answers to those questions, I'm going to stop this video and make the actual obesity topic a different video. So hopefully that made sense and was useful.